Welcome everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Parcher Field, here behind Kasabuski Arena. For today's Sachem's Varsity Softball game, and today's matchup is between the visiting Masco Chieftains and the Saga Sachem's who are hosting Masco today. Nick Raffio doing the play-by-play -play for today's game alongside Anthony Michella, sports producer and camera guy, always join with. We are excited to cover these girls. This is the debut for me for play-by-play -play duties for this season. Glad to be back and glad to be here, here at Parcher Field. And now Masco the bat. Lined in there for base hit. Masco with the first hit, and that was Goudreau. Goudreau with a base hit. As I only had the last names. And now Nolan will be the next batter. Number 17 for the Chieftains. But a bunt, and that is a foul ball. One strike. Fallon is pitching today. The pitch, ball in the dirt, runner advances to second. Softball compared to baseball is not, not that much different, except, except there are girls playing. That's it. That's the only change. And the ball's bigger. <laughs> His girl's playing and the ball's bigger. Now, those are the only difference, but not, not much difference in play compared to baseball. Pops it up. And that was Ryan Maloney, number nine, that made the catch there. And now Karen will be the batter. That is line to base it into the left field. Runner and Cummer in to score. That is Gaudreau in to score. And it's one nothing Masco, but the runner advances to third. One nothing Masco. Well, Saugus trails by one. And now here comes the love. Ball one. One out and one nothing for Masco. Here in the top half of the first. That's a strike. Called by the umpire behind home plate. Pitch, and that's bobbled by Maloney. She still has it, and is over there the first base. For the second out of the inning. What a great play there by Morello. And now here comes Green. the ball. Two nothing. Runner score from third, pops it up. Oh, Rogers almost had that, but that dropped into the field. That's an error there. Ava Rogers playing in center.
Framel the better. Ball one. It's currently two nothing. Before that pop up. The batter before the last batter. Bunts it. Fallon. Couldn't make a play. Well, there's a runner at first. Bellinger to batter. The pitch lined to short. That was Millerick over there to Maloney. And the Sachems are coming up. It's 2 0. Masco. Don't go away. Welcome back here to Partridgefield. This is the brand new home field for the varsity softball team, as what I was told. As the Sachems are about the bat here in the bottom of the first, as they're chasing a 2 0 lead. Saugus looking to tie it up. Taylor Delady delayed off. Grounds it. And that's the first out. Devaney Millerick will be the next batter. She is number 15 this year. Ball one as that flies by Devaney. Her ball. Ball two. Ground it to second on the first. There's two outs. Rapucci, the batter, as she changes her number this year to number four. A new number for 2022. Let's play ball now. Come on, let's play ball. Like what Sean says. <laughs> Throw the ball. Dizzy Sean. Devaney Millerick. Wow, that's a surprise. Devaney! Oh, it went by the center fielder, base hit. Devaney goes to third. Wow, what a triple. What a good start there. They put Devaney back at, at bat and she gets a triple. Believe it's still one out here. Rapucci the batter. No idea about that. I don't know either. I have no idea. I was like, I was like, Miller coming up again? At the ground and out? 
I don't know if that was why the umpire was talking about, about something there. Rapucci pops it up and makes a grab. Going home, she is safe. Stephanie scores and it's two to one. Sog is only down by one. And now here comes the pitcher Fallon, the sister of Devaney. Both Millericks are playing together again. That's a strike. Now let's see what Fallon can do here. Fallon takes strike. Here's the pitch. Pops it up. And that's a foul. That's, that's going to be foul. Here comes the delivery. And strikes are out. That will end the inning as the Sachem's only got a run out of that one. It's two to one. We'll be back for the, the second inning. Yeah. <laughs> what are we on? Welcome back here to Parcherfield as Masco comes up the bat for the top half of the second. The Berg will step up the bat. Basin Fallon, here's a pitch. That's a ball. The pitch. Swings and misses. Pitch, that's a ball, that's ball three. Three balls and one strike. The pitch. And now Fallon's ready, here's the pitch. Lined. That one into left field, a base hit. Masco leads off the inning with a base hit into left. Galata will be the batter. Swings and misses, strike one. Fallon's almost an eight there. the pitch, bunts it. I believe that was a foul ball. The pitch, that's a ball. The Satan's catcher today is Danica Shanna as their starter, Lily Ventry, is out injured. And she'll miss a couple of weeks, as I was told. Pops it up. A lot of play there by Rapucci. Throw it over there the first, and that is, that is close. 
That is close. But that was still a good catch there by Felicia Rapucci at third. Back to the top of the order. To Gaudreau. The pitch. Adds up high for a ball. The pitch. Pops it up foul and watch out into the parking lot. <laughs> Parking lot's uh parked over there. Better stay away from there. Yeah. But for the righties, you have to watch out for the, the bleachers over there. Watch out for those poor the fans over there. That is popped up. Ray Rogers there makes a catch that time. On that pop up. Ava Rogers was prepared for that. And there's two outs here. Nolan step up for her second time. Pitch, going for the bunt. Ball in the dirt to throw, and it's not in time as the runner is safe at second base. Where it's stolen base. That's a ball. On that pitch there by Fallon. The pitch. That's a strike. That hit the zone. That was a great pitch. Pitch. That's a ball that's a little bit up high. Pretty tight zone. The pitch. That's a strike. Two balls and two strikes. The pitch. Bunt attempt. Fallon has to play it. Over the first to Morello. Gets the out there. Sachems will come back up the bat for the second time. Still two to one. Asco. Welcome back here to Parcher Field. Here on the comp here at the complex where Kazabuski is, the new renovated Kazabuski, we're right behind it here at the softball field, right behind it. Sog is in Masco. Yeah, Sog is about to begin the bottom half. Ava Rogers will step in. The pitch at the ball. One and O oh, now to Ava Rogers. The pitch. Rogers. And it's gonna drop for a base hit. Good start. Great at bat there by Ava Rogers. With a single. And now here comes Gianna Costa. Strike. The pitch. That's fouled it off. The strike two. 
Gianna Costa, one of the captains on the softball team this year. The pitch, swing and a miss. Got her out. Well, she has a see what she see what Gianna can do the next time when she comes up. Ryan Maloney will step in. Strike one. Rogers at first. One out here. The pitch. That's a foul. That's. Oh, 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 oh. Hold it. Hold it. I knew there was a. I knew the, that was something. Well, the umpire called a foul ball. <laughs> Girls thought it was a fair ball, but the umpire said it's a foul ball. Now that one's foul. Two strikes. It's a pitch, pops it up, and watch out into the crowd. I love when they all just curl up after they don't try to move from it. Get out of the way. <laughs> They'll say, heads up! Watch out! <laughs> you don't want to get hit. Boom. Boom. Get hit okay, by softball. Probably be the worst moment ever. Yeah, kind of baseball. Pretty sure. That one's gonna hook. That's foul. That one hooked. That one had a hook to it on that hit. But that's gonna be ended up a foul ball. We got a good crowd here. Uh, both teams here at Parcherfield. What a packed house we have here. Grounded to short to first and his two outs. Two down here. And now uh, for Morello. Strike one to Morello. Pitch. That's a foul tip. Well, uh, in between innings, I I tried one of Anthony's bars. That was a, that was a what kind of bar? Import from Switzerland. The Nestle Aero Bar. The Nestle Aero Bar. Definitely highly re recommend trying it. Strikes him up, tries. They strike out there. On that pitch there. Well, that will end the inning. Speechless. Press record for you. Thank you. Always. Anthony's back in time. Welcome back here to Parcher Field. 
as I had to press the record button for him. Grabbing his jacket. He wasn't prepared. Chilly when the sun goes down. Yeah, <laughs> right? That's an ever base hit. That was Karen that got a base hit there for Masco. That was the lead up hitter there. Runner at first. Well, it's getting shady over here. And uh, when it when hits, it gets cool. It's not chilly. It's cool. Strike, the throw, the ball hops away, but the runner stays locked in at second. Now Love is the batter. Line base hit. Comes around the scores. Now three to one. Masco as a run comes in. Masco is huh, good in everything. They have, they, they, it seems like they have a good opponent. Uh, uh, we, uh, we got a good opponent we're playing. Got a good team over there. The pitch fouls it off. And at the losing Lily Ventry is gonna be a tough. Gonna be a tough road. A lot of, a lot of missed balls. Yep. All on errors, a lot of missed balls. The pitch. Ball. Pops it up. That was a ground out there to Morello. That is out number one. Morello with a nice play there, first base. The pitch fouls it off. Bemel is the batter, number 46. That was green that grounded out to second to first on the last attempt. The pitch. That was a ball. That's for Anthony, who doesn't uh, skip over that name. <laughs> the pitch. Grounded too short. Devaney, oh! And it went, that went by Morello and that will score a run. Well, it is four to one. The pitch, that's an it for strike. Jenna had to catch that one at the right time to be a strike. Right in the middle of the strike zone. The pitch. The throw over and the run down. The throw to the tag. She is out. She goes. Kind of like the White Sox announcer says, he gone, she gone. She's out. <laughs> oh, that one's in there for a ball. Imagine if a uh, softball hit one of these lights over here. Those lights look like they could take a beat from now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a ball. They'll probably get a camera out there. Probably do. On one of these lights. Oh, I make a loud noise. Ball four on that pitch. 
Third bird pops it up. Rogers there makes a catch. She was prepared on that one again. That's the second pop up. Tava Rogers, second time she caught that. Satan's are coming up. Welcome back here to Parcher Field. Red and Satans are about the bat here in the bottom half of the inning. Danica Shanna. Danny Shanna. Danny. That's our nickname. The pitch swings and misses. The pitch. Lee has the ball there. Now it's fouled. Oh! That check board almost caught the ball there. <laughs> almost hit the check board. <laughs> almost dented the check board. In the Mexico bench. <laughs> ball rolls away. I can imagine if uh, Alcott or Murray climbed up on the, the crane here at the stadium, let the crane come in, let them climb off, fix the light after a foul ball off the light. <laughs> That's Shannon's strike though. Oh, you gotta bring a comedy. That's exactly what I did for baseball. Everyone loved it. Back to the top of the order now with Taylor Delady. The pitch. Take the short over there, the first as Delady rounds it out for the first out. Second out. Correction on that one. The other difference is that they don't have a scoreboard here. She does a ball there. And now it's up now for Devaney Millerick. She had a great hit early in this one. Grounded. First, tags on the base. That ends the inning. Well, Masco comes up the bat. We'll be back. Ah, they pretty much the same. Too. Welcome back here to Parcher Field, and uh, we had some interesting uh, story about the uh, arrow bar. Candy talk, yeah. A little candy talk in between innings. That there's a arrow bar that came out of the UK. Purple package. The Cadbury makes it. Cadbury. Ball one as Masco's up the bat now. 
And now it's up now for Kawada. Swings and misses. That's strike two. She gone. Yes. One out. The pitch grounded to third. Rapucci bobbled it. And they got to call it a fair ball. Wow. Yeah. Nolan the batter, Goudreau with another hit. This Masco team is a good hitting team. Surprisingly. The pitch, the throw, and it's not in time. Safe at second. The pitch as a ball. This is a Friday edition of Saga Softball. That's a ball. Right, Anthony? This is a Friday edition. Friday edition, that's right. Friday edition. Beautiful Friday night. Before a long weekend, before our April vacation for the kids. Next it's week we'll. April vacation for me too. It looks like. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> Pops it up, Rogers. That one bounced right before I got the Rogers. She had the battle of the sun. Something happened there. Karen. That's a ball, I believe. One out here in the inning. Grounded to Rapucci. Tagged her with the ball. Look at that. That was a great play. Grabbed the ball with her glove. Tagged her. Out. Rapucci saw that runner coming towards her. Tagged her. That's the ball. There's two outs here. That was a good softball play there by Rapucci. That one's another ball.
pretty soon I'm gonna talk about the memories about this field. What I've been around the vans. And, and in a little bit, I'm gonna talk about the uh, the great memories that I remember from this field. Back in the day, back in the day, I had a long time memory. That's a strike. The pitch. And that's ball four. Runners aboard now. As I get to my story about my memories about Pacha Field, I've been here more than one time. I've been here for youth baseball, little league, and my brother CJ, when he was a little kid, he used to play here. That's a ball. And those bleachers over there have been here for years. They have been here for years. They're like very old. And these lights here, they've probably been here since this build was built. Well, that's a memory I remember for a long time. And it looks ever again, uh, <laughs> Hell caught the view. <laughs> Maybe a traffic slash game report. And there we go. That's a strikeout. Big strikeout. To get out of the jam. Sog is coming up in the bottom half. Welcome back here to Parcher Field, here at the legendary, historical Kazabuski Arena. The Kazabuski Arena. The Kazabuski Arena. That's what Sean Murray says. The Parcher Field. <laughs> Come and see a softball game. <laughs> Here comes Rapucci. Swing and misses. Nice little dog coming to watch a little bit of a softball game. Maybe looking for a little bit of food. Enjoy a nice day at the ballpark. Oh, what we got? <laughs> the pitch. Rapucci grounds it out to third over there the first. One out. One out. And now here comes Fallon. The pitch as a ball. Oh, wait until you see the hockey highlights up on YouTube when it's up. Oh, it's up now. It is up now. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. Check, check it whenever you can. And Fallon gets you out there. Rounded out there, that's two outs here. So the softball girls who wants to check it out, who who has big time support of the hockey boys, check it out. Boys across boys, who has biggest supporters for boys hockey, check it out. Everyone who, who supports boys hockey, check it out. 
and then now that grounds it up, that ends the inning. Well, nothing doing here in that top half, bottom half of the inning. Bottom half, not top half. We'll be back. Take your Saugus TV experience beyond TV. Connect with us and stay up to date through social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Miss the televised meeting or event? Find it and watch it on our Vimeo page. And for everything else, visit our website, saugustv.org. Ron, welcome back here to Parcher Field. Here at the new Kazabuski Arena at the old, old Parcher Field. This field hasn't changed. Nothing compared to Kazabuski. Except that it doesn't flood. Inside Kaz, inside Kaz, it changed. Out, out, outside here, it didn't change. Getting the cogs on that too. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get Anthony Cogliano to try to build a a, <laughs> a newly renovated Parcher Field. Maybe I'll, uh, me and Al, me and Alcott will probably have to talk to Cogs about that. Try to upgrade Parcher Field. And if people who really like this old vibe, keep the old vibe. The pitch. That's a strike. And uh, this is my first time covering a game here for softball. I, we usually uh, cover Belmonte, but that is unusable. Pops it up. Millerick makes the catch. It's one out. And uh, the hockey video, it is up. In between innings, I checked it out. It is up for you to check it out. Some big bangers in there. That's a name for ball. Definitely the Ventries who is watching this. If you're asking, it's up. It's up. That's a ball. Go to our YouTube page. If you subscribe, it'll pop up on a notification. And it should be up on the top of the screen. That's an effort strike. The pitch. That's a ball. And I want to give a big shout out to Big Alcott, Jewel, uh, big, Al big Alcott Senior, Sean Maury. I appreciate working with you guys throughout the season. That's ball four. As I pause that, side conversation for a little bit. That's a ball. Third board is the batter. Well, I want to give a shout out to Alcott Sr. and Murray. Enjoy the time. It was a great ride. Hopefully to continue. Hopefully to continue a great ride. With any sport, any sport. 
It doesn't have to be just hockey, it could be any sport. Round the third, over there the first, that is two outs. And I will love uh, both Alka and Murray to come out to some baseball or lacrosse. That'll be fun. Alka definitely for lacrosse. There's some big free trains there. The pitch. That's a ball. Oh, if Alka sees the big hitting on boys lacrosse. Oh, ho, ho. You love it. <laughs> Grounded pass, Miller in there for base hit. They're gonna let her go home. Throw the plate. It's over her head. Run scores. I believe it's five to one. Sounds like uh, some of the uh, like football guys are probably here. <laughs> I can hear some echoing over there. As the football, boys across, boys go everywhere. If it's not baseball, it's that softball. If it's not a softball, it's that boys across. They go everywhere. Everyone supports everyone. The pitch. That's a near strike. That's what Satan Pride is. Everyone coming together to support that sport, that sport, that sport. That's a near for ball. The pitch. At the near for a ball. At the near for a ball, that's three balls. Alcott Jr. is definitely on board for baseball and lacrosse. Unless he doesn't have work. And this is my first time first game here for softball. Going solo today. The pitch. That's ball four. First and third. Run is is going a second and safe. How could they do that? How could they do that? Walk a batter and then run straight to second base. That's bold move. Wow. I've never seen that in my lifetime. Grounded. And that's a fair ball. Run will score. And Masco just keeps rolling on. Two down still. First and third. Ball to throw, and it's not in time. That'll go to Milrick at short. Still two down. Second and third. Not first and third, second and third. The runner advances to second. The pop up there. Milrick ends the inning. That was Fallon that made the catch. Let's see if Saugus can rally back in the bottom half. Big time rally.
Go in the next half. Welcome back here to Parcher Field. Here at Kazabuski. Here in the complex. Right behind Target and that plaza. That ball field right behind Target, you know where that is. If you're from Saugus or you live in Saugus, you know where that is. We're here at that field. Gianna Costa pops it up and now I'll go foul. Oh, oh, look at that. We got a souvenir. We got a lucky fan that caught that behind home plate. She's out. <laughs> kind of like the Savannah Bananas. If a foul ball goes to the fan catching the ball, it's an out. Is that, is that true? Yeah. Wow. If you've seen that on YouTube, you should check that ball out. Just check, check those games out on YouTube. They're funny. And that's going, going right for That's going to be foul. Kind of like when we say at World Series, you got to you know, get your, keep your head up. For foul balls. I hope it doesn't come over here to the ramp. <laughs> we gotta be cautious. I hope that guy over there is just a lucky fan. That's a ball. He's probably the fan of the game. The pitch. That's fouled. And then we'll go off the screen. Oh, I'm looking at that guy right behind home plate right now. He, he's, gonna, he's probably going to be a special fan. That was a great catch by him. On the foul ball. <laughs> the pitch. Swings and misses. There's one out. This is a tough team to play against. Masco Chieftains. Ryan Maloney, the batter. Grounded. Oh! It went through everyone. A base hit. Getting the rally going. This could be the start of it. Maloney at first. Now Morello. Morello, the batter now. The pitch. That's a strike. Morello, the first baseman. The pitch. Swings and misses. Pitch. Swing and a miss. That's out number two. I would like I would love to give a shout out to a a Saugus team that we're unable to cover. It is Saugside Baseball over at World Series Park at Belmonte. Bob Davis is home. Give them a big shout out and hopefully they'll pull out a win. I'll find out later how they do. Big shout out to those boys if they watch this. If they watch this for just me. That's a shout out to you. To the boys of spring over our World Series. The ball boys. Jenna, what a play there at third base, but no play. That would have that would have been an awesome play at third base if she made a throw. But you don't want her to make the throw. No. But 
Good try, that was a good try. Short stop, I meant. <laughs> Shanner at thir uh, first base. Shanner at first. Now the rally begins. Delady. Let's see what she can do here. Pops it up. That one's going to drop in there, base hit. Maloney will come. She's safe. She's safe at third. And the runner is second. It's like a circus. <laughs> Rally begins. And that's the Saugus' second point on the board. Stephanie Mellowick, let's see if she can continue it. Oh, if, if I say it's looking like a circus, it's looking like a circus. Need the Benny Hill music for that. <laughs> the Benny Hill music. <laughs> Two down here in the inning. I see it. <laughs> Grounded to pitcher. Over there at first. No in the inning. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> Welcome back here to the Partridge Field, and I'm looking at a dog that's sitting down nice and peacefully on the, on the grass there watching the ball game. Let's go! You're talking about me. Look at you. <laughs> you're looking at me, man. You're talking about me? While the ra a small rally began with the Sachins in the last half inning, now it's Masco to come up to bat now. That's a ball. Ah, oh, that dog must be enjoying the uh, oh, nice, nice weather. <laughs> Don't no lucky fan that time on that foul ball. <laughs> that lucky man is not there that time. Pitch. That's a ball. You know whose home this is? Partridge Field, Anthony? Rick Kazabuski's home. Rick Kazabuski. And she's gone. One out. Rick Kazabuski that uh, Sean and Jimmy were talking to at one of the hockey games. It's his family, right? It's his family, and they, they ran this arena. That, that's the name and right, so there's arena in this area. Well, he does a good job. He does a great job. Shout out to Alcott's friend, Rick Kazabuski. AKA Kaz. One out, the pitch, that's a ball. The pitch, that's a strike. Took a little bit for Shanna to get comfortable behind the plate. Probably your first star in a while. Be on the plate. That's a strike. Now she seems pretty comfortable behind a plate. Getting the hang of it. This is like what her first game. Yeah. After Lily Ventry uh, went down on the injury list. And strike her out there as well. Two down. There's two outs. Two down here. 
Two are gone. From Masco. Wayne, waiting, waiting. Two minutes later. Wade, come on, throw the ball. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know what we're waiting for. Probably a timeout at home plate. The pitch, and we're on. The ball goes in the dirt behind the plate. That's a ball. The pitch. That's a strike. The pitch. Pops it up. Rogers makes a catch with her hand and her glove. Both clamped on it. The grab. That'll end the inning. Great effort by Rogers. Welcome back here to Rick Kazabuski's home. Parcher Field here in the the campus of the new renovated Kasabuski right behind the backs. It's on the other side of these doors. We're on the ramp that goes on the side entrance. Here for some softball outside of the renovated Kasabuski. Here at the softball field here. Rapucci the batter. The pitch. As a ball. Pitch. Foul tip. Pitch. Ball goes by her. Giving you a little bit of the ambiance of how it is at a softball game. As a ball. This is how it will sound like if you're live at a in-person game. This is what it will sound like. Pops it up. Makes a grab. If that ball dropped into the field, that will be huge. But it popped out for a catch. One out. Fallon Miller will be the batter. Oh, let's see what Fallon can do here. Pitch. That's a strike. The pitch. That's a ball. And uh, Anthony was telling me that there was uh, some kind of, what's cooking? What's cooking? Oh, uh, I bet you. Probably. West African rice. 
West African rice. West African rice. Must be good. Must have been absolutely good. Jalof. Jalof. That's the new word. Jalof. That's an ever strike. <laughs> Jalof. Does that mean that's good? Does that mean it's good? Made with long grain rice, tomatoes, onions, spices, vegetables, and meat in a single pot. Huh? Huh? Must be jalap. Delicious. Delicious jalap. <laughs> the pitch, the hit, the ground out. Jalap. <laughs> that's, that's an out there. <laughs> that, I, that's gonna sink into my head quick. I'm gonna go home and he's gonna say, Ma, I want some jalap tonight. <laughs> Who knows? That's a strike. Tune into Saga TV, we'll be hearing that soon enough. <laughs> yeah. Ava Rogers will step in. Whoa! Oh! No one there. She's all right. Uh, she's a saver. She's a savior. She stood in the game. The ball. What's the name that I'm, oh, uh, Murray said about Maddie Robbins, a savior? Yeah. To Maddie Robbins. He looks so different with his haircut, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, who is that? Oh, Rogers in there for a base hit after go. she. <laughs> the rally begins again, Nick. Yes. After she <laughs> got hit off the, by a ball, stood in the game, she seemed fine and hit a base hit. That's a savior right there. Gianna Costa, see what she can do here, see if they can keep the hitting going. All they have to do is just hit, 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 hit. Get some RBIs, get some hits. pitch. Pops it up. That will fall base hit. Rogers will stop at third. Yeah, she wanted to, but Paul Tomquist stopped her at third. Tomquist is the third base coach for the Sachem's offense. The hidden. Coach Steve, doing a great job. Pitch, ground it. Third, first. Well, always next inning, but Masco's coming up. Welcome back here to Parcher Field. Nick Raphael, Anthony, Michelle are behind the camera. I believe this is the fifth inning as uh, I was going to run over to the bench and see what inning it is. I'm pretty sure it's the fifth. I could be wrong, could be right. Bass popped it up, Rogers makes the catch. The pop-up catch is really heated up for Ava Rogers in center. Keeping her busy out there. Yeah, it's keeping her busy. Hey, 
Hopefully, you, hopefully your hands are right after all those catches there. That's an for strike. That was a great location there by Fallon to get that ball into the zone. Finds the glove. Pitch. That's a ball. Pitch, swings and misses. Oh, it's getting, a little, it's getting a lot more shady here. The pitch, grounded. That will get by everybody, a base hit. This is probably the loudest bench I've ever heard. Probably the loudest, the loudest bench ever. Right, Anthony? One of the loudest benches. Saugus is pretty loud, but not as loud as this. That's the ball. So August gets rowdy. Round it. Oh! Rapucci, what a. Oh, that was close. That would have been a great play. That sliding play there. That would have been a highlight reel. Yep, she's making the stops. That would have made the, the season highlights. She made a play like that. Oh, Rapucci is like a, uh, <laughs> she's like, I don't know what this is to describe her compared to like baseball. <laughs> kind of like a uh, softball infield version of Ryan maybe. Exactly. I like that. Making the nice plays, trying to make the nice plays. Ryan maybe can do it in the outfield. She can do it here in the infield. That's the ball. Sounds like uh, there's some fans yelling at the same time that the bench is yelling. <laughs> That's what it's on like over there. Right? <laughs> and that's in there for base hit. That will go all the way to the fence. One run into score. Here comes two. And I'm losing track with scores now. Eight to two. Eight to two. That's what we think here. Could be right. Could be wrong. We'll find out on the editing room floor. Yes. Indeed. That's what Ryan Raguchi always says to me. Indeed. The pitch. That's a near for strike. Pitch, that's up high. Oh, Anthony, look at the right fielder. She's covering the, with her glove to cover the sun. 
And the thing is, Ava Rogers has some sunglasses in the center field. Looking good out there. <laughs> what, was it, so, what were we calling him, Oakley? Ryan Oakley? <laughs> Ryan, Ryan maybe Oakley. Yeah. <laughs> it could be Ava Oakley Rogers. <laughs> Put the Oakleys on. Taylor Delady's in left field with the uh, eye black. What do you think about the face mask? A face mask? Maybe to protect the sun, or maybe um, some of them feel comfortable wearing those in the infield. Definitely the pitcher has to wear it. Oh, yeah. De Devin e. Miller got short not wearing a face mask. Careless. Careless. Be, no, fearless. Oh, fearless. <laughs> Pops it up. Right to, right to Miller. Makes the play. She thought she was going to get the runner out at third, but safely. Believe there's two outs here. Here's the pitch. Adds in there for a strike. How the umpire sounds like from here, calling a strike. He sounds like, tweak, tweak. Right? That's a ball. And if, I'm, if the umpire don't say anything, it's a ball. If he says, tweak, it's a strike. Hear that? That's a strike there. <laughs> Get <him out> of <laughs> the pitch. That's foul. I wanna I wanna how much uh, Ava Rogers paid for those sunglasses. They are working well. Coming back at him. Oh, almost got in the trash bag. Oh, <laughs> that trash bag might have been a lucky fan too. <laughs> Two of the game. <laughs> might have been a lucky dunk. Bounce it off off the screen. Those sunglasses probably about maybe uh, close to like 30, 40, 50 dollars at least. Oh, at least, yeah. Oh, uh, Ava will get a crack at this. She's been waiting for this moment. She's been waiting for this moment. For me to call this game. <laughs> A lot of these girls have been waiting for this moment. Oh, oh, oh. That was a ball. Get back on the bag, Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Anthony bring you the coverage and we're bringing you the entertainment. Two for one. Grounded. That looked like a David Ortiz kind of swing. And safe. And run scores 9-2. We believe it's 9-2. But Anthony can double check on the edit. In the edit room. That's ball. So 
So Anthony will be scrolling through. He'll be like, hey, that was that run. That was that score, that score, that score. Like that. Said, oh, I missed a run there. Oh, I missed a run there. The pitch pops it up. Whoa! Couldn't make it. Run in the score, and that's going to be 10 to 2. Time's out. We believe it's 10 to 2 right now, but. <laughs> I, I, I believe so. Pitch. Uh. Grounded. What a stop by Millerick. Over there, the first. Oh, over there. Right over the glove of, of Morello, but the runner safe. Too late to make the tag there. Runner was already on the base. That's a ball. You hear nothing from the umpire, that means it's a ball. If you hear a word out of the umpire's mouth, strike! Like that. There, there we go. That's the Ooh, iconic that's voice. The that's the voice. Oh, I love it. Oh, Sean Jimmy will love this voice. Ground it. Fallon the first to Morello. That one ends the inning. Well, Saugus has some work to do here. We'll head to the bottom half. Welcome back here to Parcher Field as uh, we will have a new hitter. Looks like Bella, Bella Natalucci will step in. We're in number one. Coach is, oh, Coach Natalucci's daughter. Give a shout out to Coach Natalucci. Swings and misses. He was the man of the night last night. He was the man of the night. The man on the mic. The man. On the mic. Mic. A little speech as well. I did. Yeah. Gave them. A, okay. Gave, gave a word out to everyone. We had the hockey banquet last night. We had a great time. Wish I ate more food. No. <laughs> I was like, man, I wish I took a take home or something. Yeah. My family did. My family took the food home. Out of that one. Uh, Julie Mitchell said, take whatever you can before I throw it out. Should have hung out later. <laughs> I should have stayed a little bit longer. <laughs> should have stood and you would have just stepped in and said, you don't mind if I take this home? The chicken Alfredo. Ah, oh, speaking of now, Luchi, that was a great time. Scazzarella, Oxley, Mitchell, team captains, team players from, from, from the hockey team. That's a strike. Now Luchi strikes out. She was a pinch hitter. And now here comes Shenna. Now let's see what Danny can do here. Hey, 
bitch. This is the first time I'm calling Danny Shanna. Oh. I've called many of Cat's games, but this oh, is no, the first of Danny. Right. Hopefully it's not your card that her ball hit. You and me both, dog. You and me both. Hopefully your car is way over. No, it's not. It's not way over. It's not. Pops it up. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> that bad an error. Yeah, all right. <laughs> We'll take that hit. Uh, that was a lucky hit. <laughs> Gianna's sister, Nikki Costa, will take first base as a pinch runner. Everybody's got a brother and sister in this town, huh? Yeah. <laughs> multiple sports. Some of them play one sport. Some of them have multiple sports. Oh, that's a face hit. Whoa, that was another error. <laughs> that one just went boom. Making sure everybody's okay. Oh, oh. I was just making sure she's all right at the mound. Come on, back behind the bag, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Runners at first and second. <laughs> uh, whoever I have, if, if it's either me and Anthony, me or someone else, me by myself, we always bring the comedy. We always do. Get these runs in. <sighs> Let's see if that happens. Runners at first and second. Devaney Millerick is up at the plate. Rounds a foul. Before I left the house, I watched a little bit of the home opener for the Red Sox. Ah, they were losing by the time I left the house. And that's out. That's an out there. They were losing like four to one by the time. If he's team this year. Yeah. They lost two to, to the Yankees. They lost one to the Tigers. They won th three games so far. And, uh, they're all. They have an iffy, iffy kind of team. That's a strike. But uh, they, it was four to one, Minnesota, when I left the house. The twins. The twins. Two outs. Rapucci, the batter. Runners at second and third. The pitch. Rapucci to the pitcher. And that'll end the inning. Not, not much for the Sachins oh, and that, that will end the ball game. I guess that's the sixth or seventh inning there. Well, Anthony will have to see on his edits how that went. Editing adventure, we'll call it. The editing adventure. Well, uh, here at Parcher Field, I'll end my debut of softball, as many to come, unless we don't have an overlap with another sport. Well, until then, uh, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your vacation, and we'll be back here sometime next week because we only. I'll be here Tuesday morning for softball, and then I believe it's. Graph report that night. Graph report Tuesday night. It all depends on the weather if um, on Tuesday because I heard some rain in the forecast, but that could change.
we'll see what happens. And um, as of right now, we're on for Tuesday morning here at Parcher. We'll let you know if that changes. If not, we'll, we'll be back here probably thir uh, Friday, that Friday, if not, if not Tuesday. Those are the two softball as um, we only have softball for next week and then the graphic board. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your vacation, enjoy your long weekend. Nick, Raphael, Anthony, Michelle, all saying thank you and good night. From Potcher Field, that will end it.